Perfect. How are you? Everything fine? You're fine? Yes. The microphone. Oh, you can also take this one if you like. Okay. So, nice postcard. Yeah, yes, yeah, the postcard is very nice. you were in the historic yeah. spa city of Baden, at the oldest trotting course in Europe. How was the experience with the horses? Well, uh, it was very, very nice. The weather was not so nice. <laughs> yeah. It was very cold, but uh, the experience was awesome. We enjoyed mm -hmm. every minute of it. Fine, okay. And now let's talk about the uh, second rehearsal. Did everything, is everything okay? Uh, you liked it? Not yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, graphic are, uh, graphics are still not ready, mm -hmm. totally, but mm -hmm. uh, it's an improvement from the first rehearsal. Mm -hmm. Hopefully till uh, Monday uh, well, uh, all this, the tales will be well done okay. by the team. Okay. And this is your final stage outfit. Uh, we will see. <laughs> we will see. 90% yet. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now we can start. Yes. The first question from the man with the orange t-shirt. Hello. Yes, it's uh, Kevin Sherwin from 9 o'clock in Romania. Uh, this is my sixth year of being part of the, the Romanian family and I can't understand why we haven't won it yet. <laughs> anyway, for those of you that were in Copenhagen last year, I can assure you the shirt has actually been washed <laughs> since then. Uh, on that subject, Bianca decided it would be a good idea if I got a new t-shirt for this year. So I thought, I have an idea. My question relates to my new t-shirt. So I suppose, could you just hold this while I show you my new t-shirt? Yeah. So, what? Wow. Yeah. 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 Here's the Here we have my new t-shirt. And we all recognize. Wow. Uh, oh, by the way, do you like the t shirt? Yes. I'm so glad you said that. You have more of them. Because I have one for you. <laughs> we can be twins. <laughs> so, this is. Uh, this is. Uh, no, I think I pronounced his name wrong, didn't it? The little boy on the t shirt. Yes. Yes. Johnny. Now, he apparently starred in a film called The Way of the Danube. Now, I don't know if you've, if you've seen The Way of the Danube, but it basically sums up what these guys are trying to promote. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, if you go to YouTube, if you type in Way of the Danube, it's a 13-minute film. You can watch it while you're waiting for your grinder to download or something. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a real tearjerker, and it tells the story of a young boy who's in I think, Western Romania, and he's looked after by his grandfather, while his mother and father are working in Vienna. Anyway, my question is, how come a film that was shot in 2013 ended up as part of the 2015 Eurovision Song Contest, and how come it's Vienna? Do you know something we don't? Is it fate, luck, <laughs> mystery? We did magic. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a coincidence. A happy one. After we uh, released the, the melody in November 2014, a lot of uh, Romanians uh, gave us messages uh, and tell us, you must go to Eurovision, you saw the, the boy uh, are going to Vienna and you must find out if uh, he succeeds to, to, to arrive there. He's coming so, here, I believe. Yeah, he will come here, he will come here on the uh, 17th of May, Sunday. And he will be here at, uh, on the next rehearsal uh, on Monday. It's uh, he he's looking forward to, to to see the stage, to see us, and uh, it will be a very emotional moment. But more importantly, you will probably see my T-shirt. <laughs> Thank you. He's, he is the image of our campaign. We released also a website in, in uh, November. Uh, de la capa dot row. He is the image of this campaign. Is the image of all these children left alone uh, by their parents who are working abroad. Okay. Next question. Yes. Okay. She's from the mic. Yes. Hello, I'm Pascal Veldman from Eurovision Artists in the Netherlands. The group Full Touch started in 1982, I think. Why did it take 14 years before you released your first album? 
the, the oldest members are the guitar player and the bass player. They are in Voltage from 1988. Uh, it was a very... Um, it was kind of a... a very hard times then, in communist times. Yeah, they, the, the group initially played hard rock music, so that was a kind of music not really allowed by the communist party. So uh, they had to wait a lot until their songs were published. So this is why. <coughs> Next question. You can also ask questions via hashtag Ask Eurovision and there is a question from Peter from Vienna. Hi guys, how do you like our city, <laughs> the people from Austria and everything else? <laughs> it's a very, very nice city. We've been here many times. We love, we love Vienna, we love Austria, we love skiing in Austria. Mm -hmm. uh, the drummer and I are a big fan of ski. Yeah, we and we've been in Villertal, in uh, Caprun, in English, uh, in uh, a lot Tirol. of places, Tirol. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a very beautiful country and we enjoy the, the time here. Fine. Okay, and the next question is from Susan. What about the other participants? Do you uh, know them and which song do you like? Uh, and each of us have a... Uh, uh, different tastes. Different tastes. Yeah. Uh, for me, the Sweden song is... One that I like and uh, Italian song also. Okay. Yeah, and I decided who's the cutest, but I won't tell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. Okay. There's a question. Yes. You. you. <laughs> I. My name is Damian. I'm from uh, Channel 13 from Argentina. Wow. And, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to know. Why this message in particular about exile in this particular moment? Exile. Could you repeat the whole question? Yeah. question. Yeah. Yeah. Why this message in particular moment, in this particular moment about exile? Because it's still a big problem in uh, our country. Uh, it was worse in 2007 when Romania entered in European Union. Uh, at that time, uh, there were uh, more than 300,000 children left behind. Now there are 85,000 children left behind by their parents, which is still bad. So we must solve this problem immediately because on their hands will be our future. And they keep, they keep grow up and they must grow up uh, without emotional traumas. Yeah, and I would add that uh Maybe this is not an exile, as no one forced them to leave the country. And maybe it's their own choice. Yeah. Okay. Is there more questions? Yes, here is one more question. Thank you for the microphone. Okay. I have a Hunter Valentin from Facebook to the Romania. I have a, a two questions. Uh, one is uh, about the order in the summer final. Uh, how do we feel, guys? Because we have evolved in between two ladies on the stage. <laughs> and very nice to be <laughs> between two ladies <laughs> okay. and beautiful ones. And uh, second uh, is uh, uh, about technical. You have a voltage, uh, have a significant technical about electricity. So. And uh, how much that must to reach the extreme to make a change in, in your uh, message, to, to example? Can you repeat? Uh, I didn't understand uh, the question exactly. The question. So, how much how much <laughs> with the voltage to, to make a change in the, uh, in the society or in the people mind, for example? Yeah, a lot of voltage for everybody. <laughs> okay, are you happy? <laughs> thank you very much, Voltage. Thank you. Thank you. And now you have time to take pictures.